Hi, this is David with a quick look at the simplest approach to value at risk. There are three approaches, but the simplest and the most popular at banks is historical simulation. Although they use variations on this that are more complicated, you'll see the idea is really straightforward. So to do that, I have simulated daily returns over the last 20 days, T minus one going to T minus 20. So that could be the last calendar month in the last calendar month of 30 calendar days might have 20 daily returns. That would be in practice a very short window to use, but I'm just illustrating the example. And so to, to, um, to simulate those randomly, I've got a volatility assumption of 1%. So that's all this is, is a plot here of these daily returns with standard deviation or volatility of 1%. So some are profits and some are losses. Now, as usual, we're doing a VAR, so we need to select a confidence level. The most common are 99 and 95%. I'm using 95%. VAR is always one-tailed. That means the significance level is always one minus the confidence level, or 5%. And then I'll go, I'm gonna go right over here and just show you the historical simulation. The count is 20, that's our window, 20 daily returns. We could use the Excel's percentile function, simply find the percentile, in the window of returns. So you've got 20 returns, percentile function, and we use the significance level to fi find the uh, quantile really at the 5%. So historical simulation really is just sorting these returns and then looking down the list for the almost worst return or worst given a confidence level. And so here that five percentile is negative 1.18. And you can see my returns aren't sorted here. They're in a simulated chronology, yesterday going back in time. But the five percentile is down here, not at the bottom, but near the bottom. Because at the bottom is the worst return over these last 20 days, which is negative 1.5%. And so you can see the five percentile is a little bit greater than that. But that's not technically how we get the historical simulation. I'm following um, Kevin Dowd per the FRM syllabus. It's been this way for a while. Just wanted to show you that we've got the Excel function that's small. And that, but that just takes the window and then the really the rank. And so among the window here, uh, if we put a one in here, we're getting the worst return. And you can see, in fact, we're getting negative 1.5%. Now, if this makes sense as a plausible 5% or 95% historical simulation VAR, it is an acceptable answer because, again, we have 20 returns. And if we multiply 20 by the 5%, we get one. So... There is, uh, under some authors, we would use the worst return as the 95% VAR. However, in the FRM, what we do is follow Dowd, and we actually use the second worst. And the um, particular function to generalize when we, for various n is given right here. And so I've copied it over. It's small, then we use the window as the input, and then it's 1 minus the confidence level, here that's 1 minus 95% or 5%. So it's 5% multiplied by the N. In this case, 5% times 20 is 1. But we add 1. And that means that if we have 20 returns, we're, find, we're retrieving not the worst return, but the second worst return, which in this case happens to be over here at T minus 18 or negative 1.16. So... That's really just the answer. It's sorting these returns, 20 days, and if we want 95%, we want the second worst return, which is negative 1.16%, and that is the 95% historical simulation value at risk for this window. And the re reasoning is that the 5% or the one worst return is in the tail. And so, what we're saying is this is sort of an this is an empirical distribution such that if the future were just like the past or exactly like the past 5% of the time we would expect the loss to exceed this level or be worse than negative 1.16%. So you can see that's how simple historical simulation is. We sort them, then we go down to the worst 
loss we expect with some level of confidence. Just with this tweak here that we use this variation where we add um, one. I hope that's helpful. Thanks.